Adopted by the U.S. Army in 1870, the Smith & Wesson Model 3 became the first standard issue cartridge firing revolver in U.S. service. By 1875, the U.S. adopted a new Smith & Wesson Model 3 incorporating design changes by Major George Schofield. The new Schofield shot a short 45 caliber round known as the 45 Schofield and later the 45 Smith & Wesson. This pistol served in the Indian Wars and Spanish-American Wars and were very popular among lawmen and outlaws alike. They were reportedly issued and used by famous names such as Jesse James, Teddy Roosevelt, and Billy the Kid. After the war, most Schofields were sold by the U.S. Army to the Wells Fargo Company. There were two versions of the Schofield originally, the first and second model, uh, which differed in latch design. This elaborate reproduction is sheathed in nickel plate and is a great example of the fancy sidearm that may have been carried by a professional gambler or gunfighter. A master engraver matched every fine line and flourish of this polished nickel plated replica's unique scroll work. On the barrel, cylinder, hammer, frame, back strap, and trigger guard. This replica has fully functioning parts, however it is non-firing and cannot be interchanged or modified to fire ammunition. This is a model of a museum piece and is made exactly according to the original all the way down to a small notch in front of the trigger and a missing screw in the butt plate. It has an overall length of 13 and a half inches, a weight of two and a half pounds, and is made by Collector's Classics. You may view this pistol, or a full line of Collector's Classics pistols, as well as Denix manufactured pistols at ReplicaWeaponry.com.